Welcome back, Brother Drew. Yes. Amen. 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 Jesus. Okay, my sermon today is on let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Amen. Amen. Who are the redeemed? Tell us. We are the redeemed. Amen. 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 The Lord God who redeemed us from the, the enemy, yes. hell and the grave. Yes. Amen. 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 He is the one that redeemed you and I. Right. Amen. We know a man from Galilee who is wonderful and he is marvelous. And what's his name? Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. Okay. Amen. We have been redeemed for a purpose. Amen. 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 We are overcomers by the words of our testimony. And it talks about that in Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. Why are we overcomers? Because God has redeemed us and delivered us. Amen? Amen. Amen. We have been redeemed for a purpose. Amen. Jesus tells us in Matthew 10, chapter 33, do not deny him, or he will not deny you in front of his father. Amen. That means whatever your testimony may be, don't be afraid or deny what God has done for you. Amen. 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 Your testimony belongs to the Lord. You didn't redeem yourself. Amen. That's right. God did it. So right. it belongs to God. Amen. Amen. He redeemed you so that you can go out and tell somebody else how he redeemed you. Amen. Right. Yeah. What he yeah. done for you. You cannot sit on your testimony because it does not belong to you. Amen. Right. Amen. It belongs to the Lord. Amen. 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 We must tell the loss how God has redeemed us from the head hands of the enemy. Amen? Amen. Amen. That's what he did it for. So we can go out and tell the lost how God has delivered us Amen. from hell and the grave. Amen. 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 And Luke chapter 14, 23 tells us to go out in the highways and the byways and spread the good news of Jesus. See, when God says you're redeemed you, he wants you to go out in the highways and the byways. Go all over. Go oh, wherever he sends everybody. you. Go where, wherever he sends you yes. and tell somebody about his love. Amen. And tell them what he has done for you. Yes. Jesus said, go out there and compel them to come in. That's right. Come on now. Yes. Compel them to come in. Yes. Bring the sheep Let in. them know what he brought you from. Amen. Yes. This gives us an opportunity to be of opportunity to be a witness for our Lord. That's right. When we go out there in the highways and the byways, you may be sitting on the bus stop or something. Mm -hmm. It might be a lady that you, that's on crack. Mm -hmm. And you know, goodness well, that God delivered you from crack. Amen. So you oh, tell her how God delivered you. That's it. It's not anything to be ashamed of. Amen. You tell me, yeah, I used to smoke crack. Mm -hmm. I used to be tweaking all out the window. Mm -hmm. I used to be looking all on the floor. Mm -hmm. I used to be free basing, smoking primos, cleaning out the shooter. See, I can say all these because I did all that. Amen. I did that, mm -hmm. but God delivered me. Amen. Amen. One Amen. thing about me, I'm not ashamed of my Because it don't belong to me, it belongs to God. That's it. No program did it. Nope. Prison didn't do it. Nope. No hospital didn't do it. Nope. God did Pray. it. Yeah. Amen. 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 God wants us to bring the lost and dying to repentance. Amen. Amen. It all starts with our testimony. Yes. Tell people God delivered you from bondage 